How is the potential energy diagram affected by the addition of a catalyst? Here we have a one-step reaction with a pretty high activation energy. That's the size of the hump from the reactants. And it's exothermic overall. A catalyst, by definition, will have the same reactants and products, but it will change the mechanism and lower the activation energy. So what I need you to do is to start in the same place and end in the same place. But I want you to draw smaller humps, and I do want at least two humps. The reason is that like a, you're allowed to have a one-step reaction in chemistry, but if there's a catalyst involved, first of all, the reactants have to react with the catalyst, and then that has to break apart or do one or two extra things to become the products. So because we're, sh we're adding this extra thing in there, the catalyst, it's more than a one-step reaction anymore. But the only rule about the humps is that they can't go any higher than the original one did. If it goes up higher, then you've increased the activation energy and it's not a catalyst. So why are you doing that, right? Just make sure that your hump goes not quite as high. And again, you're allowed, and I encourage you to include two humps for your catalyst potential energy diagram. And there you go. The point here is that the original reaction required this much energy to happen originally, like as a one-step reaction. I don't know how much energy that is. I didn't label this with numbers. It's just two molecules hitting each other with enough energy. But when the catalyst is around, this is enough. That's less energy, and that makes the reaction more favorable. It speeds it up. That's the way it goes. That's how chemistry works. Thanks for being with me, and best of luck.